Welcome to the third episode of my uh, bug out bag. This is uh, Bentley's Backwoods Bushcrafting and uh, we'll begin with this large mess here. Here we go, it's a, it's a bag of rocks. I actually got these at the dollar store. Uh, this is just really weight that if I didn't need to carry isn't really necessary. I could pick rocks up off the ground, but um, these are our ammunition for the next item. But uh, bag of rocks, just in case. A slingshot, which is good for hunting and for protection. And if I ever had to tear it up and scavenge it, I got all kinds of little things I could do with that if I had to. We have a uh, small pack of glow sticks which uh, are always good to have. Uh, you don't have to worry about batteries, you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Got the glow sticks right in there. Now there's one in here right there. You can see the little green cap. It's actually run on batteries but uh, uh, it's an LED glow stick but uh, anyway we got uh, other small packs of chem lights uh, okay we have uh, a bolo that I made out of uh, 550 cord and golf balls which is a weapon yeah. and believe me you throw that and you hit your target uh, they'll know it I made sure they worked because I had my uh, son throw it at me while I was trying to run away and I did tell him to aim low enough to where he wasn't going to hit me in the head but he did get me in the back once and that hurt and he did actually wrap it around my legs one time too. It did uh, did slip me up a little bit. I'm sure that for a small animal that would definitely work. Uh, I got a a bag of baggies. Uh, I always make sure I have containers of some sort, baggies and peanut butter jars. One of my favorites. Let's see here. A bag of very small, I got these at the dollar store, very small zip ties. And uh, these will not work as handcuffs. So uh, feel free to try them, but they will not work as handcuffs. You can easily break through these kind of things. You might be able to make little finger cuffs out of them. I still wouldn't trust them. But uh, these are more to for tying things down and uh, you know, zip tying stuff when you don't have cordage or whatever. And I'm sure if I sat down and thought about it, I could come up with another 200 ways of using these things. But uh, generally, I do not keep uh, food sitting in my bug out bag uh, unless it's specifically designed just for food because. Uh, as an example, uh, here's some uh, fruit strips, and I completely missed these the last time I went through my bag and cleaned out any food. The last time I took it out, I added food to it, and uh, uh, I completely forgot about these. I, I totally missed them. So these things have been sitting in my, my huge bug out bag for probably a year and a half now, uh, and I, I've never really found them. They were buried deep but anyway I don't generally like keeping food uh, in in these large general bags because I miss it it'll go bad it'll draw bugs it'll draw critters so anyway uh, let's see here this right here is a map case it's just a piece of plastic that once sealed is is waterproof and uh, it holds maps. Right now I have a, 
uh, washable dry erase marker and uh, a little paste count uh, page stuck in there. Let's see here. Uh, gun cleaning kit. Uh, basic general uh, gun cleaning kit. Nothing specific as far as, you know, any kind of rounds or, or shells or anything as far as what it works on. It's just a general basic throw together. Works on just about anything because you never know what I might find or acquire in a in a situation where I uh, I need to go looking uh, other places to, to gather uh, weapons. So a general basic gun cleaning kit that is actually in a, uh, a zip bag that used to hold uh, uh, toothpaste and toothbrush I got from the dollar store. Uh, just a, an empty container. It's like a, a little Altoids type container. Uh, this one is some kind of little tea bags I guess were in there originally. Uh, I got this uh, I believe I, I believe this just was something I found junked, but little container. I can make uh, char cloth or something in this, or you know whatever stuff like that. I can actually, if I had to, I could cook in it. You know, it's really small, but you know, if I had to put something in that to heat it up, put it in the fire. You know, there's tons and tons of usage for this thing see what else we got here alrighty wrapped up in this piece of cloth is a sharpening stone so not only do I have the piece of cloth I can work with to patch things to use as a rag to to do multiple multiple things I could you know put water through it to help purify water you know tons and tons of things I could use use just with the rag and the sharpening stone Let's see here. I have two packs of baby wipes. Now, uh, if anyone has ever been out in the woods for any length of time without the ability of having a bath or a shower, uh, or if you've been in the military and you're out in the field for two, three months at a time with no access to a shower or a bath, uh, these things are gold little baby wipes this is a this is a hygiene hygiene uh, bath in a in a in a little bag so I have a little dollar store sewing kit because you never know uh, you know I I have a handful of these scattered about uh, but I always make sure I keep something like this in my large large kit. Now this is a uh, this is a little fishing kit. Basically it's got some line, it's got a couple bobbers and it's got some uh, lures and uh, if you've watched some of my other videos you'll recognize these lures. These are the uh, little plastic things that that I pulled off of the the little balls that I bought at uh, Walmart and they make great uh, artificial worm lures. And these things were like little spikes that were sitting on top of these little balls that glowed when you shook them or hit them or whatever. They had a little glow thing in them. But uh, those little spikes I cut off. And I've got uh, a large amount of uh, artificial worms which again I keep in many several different kits including including this one here uh, I have two of these uh, little uh, water filters and uh, it says it reduces chlorine taste and odor uh, I'm not sure how well they'll work if you were to use them out in the field. Uh, I actually 
got these at a junk shop uh, in, a, in a box of uh, a large amount of box of uh, stuff and uh, I don't know if if they would work or if they wouldn't work they've never been opened I have two box uh, two packs of them but uh, one of these days I'm gonna find out but uh, it's a filter straw basically all it is let's see here we have this this had a uh, like a little level in it at one point I think but I got the little bag that has uh, this little kit that I got at the dollar store by the way it had it it, it originally had uh, this little wire and uh, these little eyelets something else over here I don't remember I think there were little nails or something but I took the little nails out and made this kit uh, this could be a, a snare kit or a fishing kit uh, or anything else you can come up with too but uh, these little individual pop open here and I have a bunch of these little eyelets uh, that was part of this kit it was for like uh, hanging pictures and stuff is what it originally was designed for that I found at the Dollar Tree and then there's a little wire here so basically what I did was collected all the wire and the eyelets put them together now this wire can be used for fishing it can be used for snaring these eyelets and the main purpose I have those is I can attach those to sticks and use them like eyelets for a fishing pole. Uh, that was the main purpose that, that I collected those. So this is a little little mini fishing kit. And I have some cordage and a couple mouse traps for trapping small little critters. Or you can use them for an alarm system at your camp. And uh, hopefully I'll get around to making a video on uh, how to use those uh, in conjunction with a few other items to make a little alarm system for your camp. But uh, this is a small little kit. And uh, lastly, we better stop it. Lastly, I have a bunch of these... Uh, fishing reels, automatic fishing reels. They set up in trees and stuff and they're something you can set up and leave and come back later get your fish. Like uh, fishing yo-yos. I think they're called yo-yos. But uh, I got these online. Got a pack of them. Thought uh, this summer when I go out I'll set these up and See how well that helps. So anyway, we're going to stop right there and we'll continue uh, with the next episode. Thanks for watching Bentley's Backwoods Bushcrafting. Uh, please view my other videos. Uh, please subscribe and leave comment.